Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Moscow. Now today I'm going to take you for a walk around a Russian deep discount supermarket. Now you've seen lots of different types of supermarket videos on the channel. Maybe you've not seen anything like this before. It's right behind me. We're going to head on inside. Now just before we head on inside, I just thought I'd point out today is Sunday afternoon. It is actually a beautiful blue sky day here in Moscow. It's expecting that it might rain the rest of the week. So today, Sunday, actually yesterday was beautiful as well. Uh, I just thought I'd talk about Svet4 before we go inside. So in English it translates to traffic light and that's where you get the red, amber and green. Some people call that middle color yellow, but this is Svet4. Now where we are actually is a very busy industrial park where they've got a lot of places that you can buy things for your house, for remodeling, for construction. There's some car parts dealers as well around. There is actually a new house development coming up right in the middle of it all over here, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure I want to live in an industrial park, but... And then there is actually a small housing development back here, which has been here for years and years and years. Very big houses, but pretty much anyone that comes here will come here by car because really there's not a whole lot around. There is the very busy uh, Kiev Highway right here, which takes you right into the center of Moscow. We're uh, roughly 15 or 20 minutes directly up that highway to the center of Moscow, but uh, a little bit of traffic involved in that. Pretty busy highway here in the uh, junction. So yeah, very few people walk here. Probably I'll be the only one that would do that. Uh, if you're gonna come shopping here too, normally a lot of things are a little bit bulkier in this kind of store, so um, it's not going to be something you're going to carry in a shopping bag. Seven days a week, they're open 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Now, this particular chain of deep discount supermarkets are all throughout Russia. They started out in Krasnoyak, and they have over 1,400 locations. Zdravstvite. Hello. Hello. There's some shoppers here. I did uh, speak to the lady before I came in, so yeah, there's 1,400 of these throughout all of Russia. There was actually one location in England, which is now closed, but it was in Preston in the UK. So if there's any British watchers or viewers, let me know if you know about this chain of stores or <laughs> one shop chain. Now, the one thing with deep discount supermarkets compared to let me say traditional supermarkets is there is kind of organization, but then there isn't. And then pretty much everything is on pallets, like you see. So the entire pallet of one item kind of gets dragged around the store from when it arrives from the back dock, gets put in place somewhere. And all they do then is they put an uh, A4 piece of paper with the price on it. They cut open the box and this is what you see. So there's going to be kind of a real uh, higgledy-piggledy mix of things. Does anybody know what that means if you translate it? But I'm not going to really focus too much on the pricing. If you do want to do that conversion yourself for US dollars today was 79 rubles to a dollar. It's a three kilo bag of pasta right here. <laughs> Some big bags of pasta. Let me tell you. So yeah, it's, it's not necessarily a bulk store where you're buying things in larger packaging. It has a big mix of things. Some things are bigger in size, but the whole idea with this is it's a big uh, kind of a warehouse style supermarket. So everything comes in these kind of plain boxes like you see. This is how they would arrive if you were in the back dock of a supermarket. But uh, all the things uh, and then this, the top box is cut open. Again, the sign gets put on them and that's it. Simple as that. Here's uh, some biscuits. These are actually the, uh, like the croutons, like the, the, the dry bread. Some cookies right here. There's uh, soya sauce tucked in between the different types of pasta. So one kilo of pasta there, one US dollar. So I'm not gonna, 
focus so much on the pricing, pretty much everything in here is very reasonably cheap. It really is. I mean, uh, the uh, point of coming here is to get uh, cheap things. Yeah, a lot of them might be also off-brand items as well, so it may not be the common brand you'd see in a normal, if you want to call normal, supermarket. I use the word uh, typical in a lot of the videos. I think a lot of people by now have realized that from the channel. Uh, there is a kind of an organization to this, but when you walk around, it feels disorganized at the same time. Not everything is whole pallets. Here's some uh, uh, canned uh, fish. I think this is mackerel, it looks like. Uh, I think so. My Russian isn't the best reading some of the uh, different foods. This is the sort of store sometimes I'd need to come with my wife so she can translate. Pasta, still pasta, spaghetti right here. A five kilo bag of spaghetti. So yeah, there's normal size, size stuff and then there's crazy big stuff. And then everything is kind of got a space but not really got a space. And then as things sell out, they bring in something new. And we've even got shopping trolleys. How's that? So as I walk around a little bit more, I just want to ask everybody, do you have this kind of store where you live? Now, in Russia, they call them deep discount supermarkets. And, you know, in uh, England, they have what's called pound stores. In America, they've got dollar stores. Now, everything in here isn't one fixed price. They do kind of have that concept in Russia, but it's not everywhere. And they're a little bit hard to find specific stores with a, a one price kind of shop. So have you seen this kind of store before? Have you, do you go shopping at one where you live? Let me know in the comments. So continuing walking around, there's some garden hose right here. Nice big uh, 20 meter roll of garden hose. Roughly $10. Uh, the, uh, uh, right now it's kind of spring coming into summer. So a lot of people who have country houses or duchess would uh, kind of want these kind of things, especially like you see here, the trees right in front of me here. These are ready for planting on your plot. There's some uh, condensed milk here. One thing I'll uh, point out, and this is no way negative about the store, is the tiling. They could fix the tiles. Come on, there's like 11 different types, but this is the type of store we've come to, this kind of chain of stores. You'll find that some are a little bit better, some are a little bit worse, but it is what it is. There's some nice uh, kind of biscuits here. Kind of buy the whole box of them. But if you're going to feed the whole family, you know, this is a great shop to come to because you can buy for a week's worth of shopping. Uh, for my wife and I, we don't have one of these close where, to where we live. This is probably about an hour away from my house. So it's not somewhere that I'd sort of just pop into and come shopping. Here's some more biscuits. Kind of look like animal crackers, but not exactly. There's some noodles. Here is some uh, dried fruits. 120 rubles for, looks like a kilo of dried fruits. So yeah, we'll sort of have a wander around. There's a lot to take in. Uh, walking around, but we'll see what we can find. There is a uh, food section further in the back. Here's some uh, tea. If you just need a, if you've got maybe the teapot with a strainer. There's some coffee here. Hopefully we can uh, get around the store okay. These uh, stores or any supermarket you come to, uh, snacks, cookies, Pastries are hugely popular. Here is the fairly generic looking uh, chocolate sauce, or spreadable. Choco Dreams for pretty much a dollar for a container. What else do we have here? More biscuits, more cookies. They're uh, pretty popular. Actually, <laughs> there's a lot of them. <laughs> Oh, here's some dried nuts. Oh, these are just classic kind of mixed nuts. This one's it's about $4. 
Nuts tend to vary a lot in price depending on the uh, different nuts you get in the packaging. So you can get ones that are very cheap and then obviously depends on the, the price of individual nuts in those sort of boxes. Then we come out the back here and they've got all of this kind of variety section. And again, it doesn't look the best visually, but uh, they've got some new stuff up the top there. They've got a little bit of everything down the bottom here. Washing powder, big bag for $2. What's that? Four kilos. Garbage bags for 50 cents. Yeah, there's a little bit of everything kind of tucked away. Is this like a bleach, I think? Or some sort of cleaning, like a bleach or a toilet cleaner, handy wipes. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's some kids' books. If you want to have a rifle through all the kids' books. A little bit of stuff here for your car. Antifreeze. I'm not too sure what these are. I guess this may be is for cleaning your car, I think. And then in the corner over here, there's a little bit of clothes. There's an extension cord. <laughs> it's all very random. There's a trolley of some shoes and there's even almost Crocs, almost Crocs. These are really the China, China version. It's very interesting kind of looking on all the different shelves because you probably came shopping here or if you do come shopping, you kind of have an idea in your mind what you want to buy. In the end, you're up buying far more things that you didn't even possibly need because you kind of just walk past it looking at something else. Here's some handy wipes, some fairly simple looking flip-flops. There's a little bit of kid stuff over here, some, um, at least for dressing up, I guess. Maybe the, is it that or is it curtains? Get some gardening gloves. <laughs> it's really, uh, a bit of everything. I really like this kind of store because it's kind of organized but disorganized at the same time. So it's kind of that treasure trove of a shop when you come in here because you're kind of hoping to find something that you really wanted. And then you walk out kind of with a carrier bag of things that <laughs> were really not what you need for your house. But uh, they simply just stack everything up Looks like there's some chairs here. Kind of make your own chairs. More garbage bags, some pots and pans. So yeah, it's, it's kind of a fun shop to come to uh, because you can, you can find the kind of the, uh, you know, the uh, kitchen things that you need and stuff for cleaning and household stuff. Got, uh, uh, a conditioner here or I'd call it washing powder but it's liquid washing powder I don't know what the name of liquid washing powder is there's even the tablets here for is this for dishwashing salt salt <laughs> I don't know this brand but yeah there's kind of all sorts of things there's a window shade next to some glasses and then there's some uh, mosquito coils. So this is what a very typical Russian deep discount store looks like. This is a, a brand of stores, but you can go to some of these that are unbranded. Um, in Australia, we've got something similar to this. We call the reject shop. And there's also a, a store in Australia called Red Dot Store, which is kind of similar to this, but I'd say it's far more... Uh, tidier or uh, less warehouse looking that's the idea with this basically open a warehouse put plenty of lighting in stack things as high as you possibly can that's a big stack of toilet roll stacked up there <laughs> if you need a new uh, carpet for your uh, bathroom is that what they called carpets for your bathroom these are the clothes dryers yeah, it's a kind of a fun mix of things. 
There's some cable for your uh, trimmer, or in Australia we call whipper snipper. I think in America they call these line trimmer cords. So yeah, there's something for everybody. I'm pretty sure in most countries around the world they don't just leave their forklift uh, truck in the middle of the aisle, but uh, this is the type of store we're in here where they've just left it as it is, laying around. More uh, toilet roll, this is from the other side over here. There's kind of handy wipes. And here's the ladies we wandered past before. They're kind of doing the treasure hunt down the back as well, like I'm doing. You can get some big pack of the washing up sponges there for 60 cents or so. Some containers. And then there's even some, what are these? Oh, these are uh, kitchen garbage bins. You call them bins, trash, rubbish. In Spanish, basura. There's a... Uh, not too sure what these are up here, but I think they actually these are watering cans. They're on display anywhere. I guess they, the, uh, this particular store, when you come pretty much, if you would come roughly once a month, you're going to find a change in all the things that they sell. So the idea is not to come too often. So when you turn up, you see something new that wasn't here last time. Because the, how cheap things are, the things turn over very quickly. And that's the, the concept of this store at the same time, that they've got that kind of rolling change of stock. So if you kind of come here next month, maybe something that you really liked last month isn't available anymore, which can be a bit of a hit and miss thing. And some frozen fish. Here's uh, some ice cream. Ice cream's very differently displayed in, in Russia or how you get the kind of, in Australia you get them in a tub sort of the ice cream comes in a tub, whereas in, a, in, a, in Russia they come in a bag. They look like flour, but it's, it's, it's uh, the ice cream kind of in like half kilo or kilo package. Here's just the normal ice creams. Some big bags of broccoli. We actually uh, have some at home. We're gonna do some broccoli soup in the next day or two. My wife loves making soups. So yeah, there's Kind of the aisles here, much much better lit here in the main part of the store. But uh, if it was me, I'd want to fix these tiles, but nobody's too bothered, so. Now, before I head on inside the food section, if you're not so inclined to see some uh, raw food, then it may be not for you, but this is essentially a cool room, as simple as it comes. So yeah, you can see you can just get open cut meat here. That's pretty much the only one in this store. If you go to different Smetaphors, they might have more of this. It doesn't look the most appealing because it's just not sealed and packaged. Mayonnaise. There is lots of different meats, salamis. There's some uh, chicken there, hams. So again, I'm not really kind of showing the prices. Again, if you want to kind of pause somewhere and do the conversion, uh, this is in rubles. So I looked at it just before I walked in. 79 rubles was exactly one US dollar. I know for Australian currency, it's about 52 or 53, depending on which day you kind of checked. I didn't look at the Australian one today. Here's some more meats. And we've got milk up here. So you can do your kind of daily grocery shopping here. Again, this is not in an area where there's too much housing. I mean, literally, uh, everybody that sort of walked in while I've been here a little while before I started filming and after have all pulled up in a car. So there's some nice tomatoes here. And these will have come right from the wholesaler, which is actually not too far from here, about another few kilometers up the road there is the biggest uh, food and vegetable wholesaler called Food City and more than likely a lot of this comes through Food City uh, and then to this kind of store cucumbers again 
the idea is not to have anything too fancy displayed that way then the staff working here are not you know continuously kind of uh, preparing the store and making it look nice and beautiful they'll just come in and take away empty boxes as things sell through and you'll be kind of seeing you here where the next box needs opening but uh, the idea is just to have at least the top packaging of things open and good to go Monte di Acqua Water I'm not sure where those mountains are but a little bit more frozen stuff frozen strawberries come on you can get fresh strawberries right now it's kind of strawberry season here and what would I possibly want fresh frozen ones for I guess you could use them for making drinks things like that maybe for jams but there's some pickled vegetables I always get confused which one I'm looking at so my wife advises me never to buy one and bring it home in case I've got the one that either I don't like or she doesn't like but what have we got canned here canned peas pretty much the cheapest price you'll find 50 cents for a can of peas generally in the stores uh, be instead of what's that 42 rubles it'd be 60 to 90 rubles some more ice creams no get one for the walkout again this kind of stacked up style is what's to expect when you come into this kind of store i think there's uh there's some of the uh, kids kind of uh, drinks here these sort of sippy drinks more pickled uh, vegetables some tomatoes these are the jarred peas which are actually very nice if you want to make uh, the salads and things like that big jar of pickled tomatoes 224 rubles so yeah the key to this is that just make sure when it's on display it's got a price tag and that's all you got to do so whatever it is that you put out make sure it's got a price on it and it's as simple as that now there is a little bit of an alcohol section here with some wines some vodkas uh, I don't kind of recognize most of the names of these so uh, if somebody's maybe Russian and recognizes what I'm pointing out here product of Spain this is well Viura Sauvignon but Spanish uh, wine really have to read the labels where they're all from to know which country they're coming from a lot of the uh, products that are sold in Russia although they're from other countries they'll be packaged specifically for the Russian market so silver vodka <laughs> that's a bit of a giveaway it's um, you know they're not necessarily made with the uh, domestic label in the country where they came from they'll be produced and labeled and made and sold for Russian domestic market here I was kind of hoping to find some beer but they don't have any beer they've got some more different uh, drinks here apple juice uh, things like that pretty much just about a dollar there's a few people are a bit emotional with each other at the front of the store there you know, all of these kind of brand here fun orange uh, they're really not the supermarket kind of branded stuff but this giant bottle of energy drink here black uh, the <laughs> Toro power just about a dollar twenty dollar thirty uh, this is the pellets like for the uh, kitty litter kitty litter <laughs> trying to get the right word out not too sure what these are at the front here there's for your garden and there's some more uh, things if you're going to do all your planting in your dacha you can get some bulbs there is 
a bit of everything. And the actual, <laughs> the only thing that I really wanted from the store walking around, Turbo Energy. So you can get yourself a big can of energy drink for not even 40 cents. But this is actually one of the drinks that I actually like to drink. This is a kind of lemon, lime and mint. Uh, kind of a, like a Sprite, but with a mint flavor to it. So just as I uh, walk past the checkouts here, uh, a subscriber actually recognized me from the channel. And he recognized some of my videos from Solaris, which that shopping center is not too far from here. It's only about five minutes by car away. And because this is kind of roughly the area where I live, you know, especially catching the bus and metro from Solaris to go home, he recognizes my videos. And that's just so interesting that I'm in this store here and I come across a subscriber. So yeah, pleased to meet you. So walking around, what did you think of this store? I'm almost heading out the store now. Does it really bother you, some of the brands, if they're kind of the off brands, when you go shopping? Are you a person that kind of really looks for a certain brand of food? You know, in this kind of current climate in the last few years where, uh, after COVID, where a lot of companies had supply chain issues, you know, a lot of brands weren't on the shelves. In different stores, I know in Australia, we struggle to get a lot of stuff uh, delivered to the supermarkets where I was working. So we relied a lot on some of the uh, off-brand products to be kind of uh, replenished in the shops. You know, um, is this somewhere that you'd come shopping to? Maybe you do that already where you live. I mean, I know for my mum, for example, she's not shy of going to this kind of place to buy certain food items that she likes or you know, a certain product that's just cheaper than the mainstream supermarkets because with this, this kind of store, they've took away the fanciness to everything, you know? It's just a warehouse, everything's on pallets and stacked up, and that's how they can make things cheaper. There's also far less staff in here. There's the lady at the checkout, they've got a couple of guys in the back dock, and that's all they need to run the store. As long as everything's got a sign on it and the uh, box is cut open, that's all they need to do. So as I head out the store, I just want to thank the lady here for uh, letting me film inside. Thank uh, you. She's my new subscriber, so you're going to see this later on the channel. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be able to Feruza. watch it. Okay. Feruza. Oh, Feruza. Mm -hmm. Oh, Maya Russell. Russell? Yeah, Russell. Uh -huh. Russell. So, Feruza. yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, yeah, thanks. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, so as I head out the store, thanks everybody for watching. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this deep discount supermarket as I watch my step walking out of here. Uh, this is very much a Russian typical supermarket. It's not the kind of classic style like you'd be used to, maybe like we've got in Australia, Coles and Woolies. Even if I just go over to Solaris and go to the hypermarket there, Globus, this is very much discount supermarket in its finest. So yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs ups are always nice. Thumbs downs, I see they're getting a little bit less slowly uh, on every video that I make. So I really enjoy walking in this store. I like this kind of style of shop. For me, if I was to work here, that I would never be idle. I'd be fixing, tidy and rearranging. And I'd probably be tiling the floor as well, but that's something else completely different. So yeah, I put another video for you to watch after this one. If you want to watch another video on the channel, I've got another similar store to this you might want to check out that's kind of modeled more like an Aldi or a Lidl. So maybe if you've not seen that on the channel, you can watch it after this one. Thanks everybody. Thanks for being a subscriber. Thanks to all the channel members and all the longtime subscribers of the channel. It was nice to meet a new subscriber or make a new subscriber in the staff, a member from the shop, and also to meet the other guy that said hello to me that recognized me from the channel. So yeah, I'm off on another adventure. Bye everybody. Bye.